Good morning. Welcome back to KJ's channel. Today is a busy day. Got up early this morning, did uh, our prayer meeting on the phone. Uh, now I'm getting ready to run on the treadmill. Then I have to head to the office. I've got a few hours of work to do <clears throat> before uh, 1 o'clock. I have an executive board meeting, a called meeting. And then at, and I don't know how long that'll last. Hopefully, not too long. And then at 4.30, I have another called meeting with the uh, Montana Foundation. Meetings, meetings. And then I'll get to come home, hopefully. But it'll be an office day, trying to get as much work done as I can. Uh, but one thing I wanted to share with you guys was uh, kind of building on yesterday. I'm kind of in a theme right now. Um, I'd like to share with you uh, five of the main reasons that I think serving in certain places is harder than others. Uh, and then tomorrow, what I'd like to do is share some of the blessings of serving in places like that. Um, a lot of times we look at the negatives and we say, oh, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. And it is. Um, I agree with uh, what David Platt said. The, the easy places are taken. And uh, we just need to realize that. But there are also special blessings that come from somebody who is willing to sacrifice and serve in those places. And I think those need to be highlighted also. Um, and just let people know that uh, there is a special blessing for serving in places that are difficult. But today, before we get there, I'll go over the five things that I think are, make certain places more difficult than others. All right, folks, it's time to head down to the office. Finished my run. My sister sent me a passive-aggressive message because I did my workout. And it's a competition, so a little fun jesting and trash talk among siblings. But, uh... Let me start with the first thing that uh, that seems to be a major issue for some places. And if a pastor doesn't deal with it properly, uh, will quickly lead to him leaving that difficult place. And that is isolation. So I'm heading down to the church right now. And uh, as I said, the closest pastor in my same uh, denomination and work is probably 67 miles from here <laughs> so it's quite the uh quite the space between places when i was in north carolina where i grew up i mean you could have you could gather five or six pastors together in no time well here it takes all day uh in a, in a big work so like today i'm having the uh executive board meeting we're doing it by zoom but it's still not the same as being in the same room with some of those guys and just visiting and talking and fellowship and so uh, isolation is a real issue that needs to be dealt with uh, even as an introvert i realize the need for fellowship with other pastors and realizing that you're not alone uh, this also causes another problem when you're in a small community like this where if you're bivocational you can't just go down to Miles City and visit your pastor buddy. You, um, you've got work to think about, and you can't always make it to the state meetings because your your job won't allow you the time off. So, uh, yeah, isolation. It's tough. The second thing that I wanted to mention was weather. I live in a place where during the winter it can hurt your face. We've seen extreme weather we've seen fires we've seen all kinds of stuff and we are not alone there's other places that have extreme weather um so say for example you are uh, on the coat one of the coasts and you have to deal with hurricanes or uh you are uh, in a place that is uh extremely dry and you have to deal with um you know the the water issues um but the weather keeps a lot of people from coming to this part of the world uh, specifically um, it can get it can get rugged so there's some reality to that that um, if you have health conditions or you have uh, you know just difficulty dealing with the extreme temperatures or extreme weather uh, then it might be a hard place to say uh, I think about guys in the tornado alley area um, 
you know, you have to deal with that reality. If you're at the beach, you deal with hurricanes. If you're uh, extreme north like we are um, or the Midwest, you have to deal with extreme temperatures uh, and snow. Um, yeah, just uh, environmental issues. There's a reason why certain areas of our country have the most people. Uh, the weather is generally favorable there. All right, a third thing that uh, can often make places difficult for a pastor is culture. Um, within the United States, there's a lot of different cultural uh, pockets, and there's differences. And uh, one of the most obvious that I see um, and that I deal with here uh, has to do with being outside of the Bible Belt. Um, there are other denominations or other uh, faith groups that uh, have more of a hold in our area uh, that people grew up with. And so culturally, there's a lot of things that are uh, different. Um, without going into specific details, there's, uh, there's just things and behaviors that are considered acceptable here that growing up for me were unheard of. Uh, and that happens both ways. Um, you know, there's people that could come from here and go down south and say that people are false and the uh, southern hospitality is not true. Um, there's, uh, there's that aspect. There's also when people are from a bigger city and they go to an agricultural area, they're not used to that, or they go from a, a rural country area to the city. Uh, and there's just changes in culture. And that can be hard uh, doing cross-cultural ministry. Uh, ask any missionary. So, uh, But that does, even, in our, even within our country, uh, see some of those cultural things. Uh, number four uh, is family needs. Uh, I happen to grow up right near Duke University. So medical stuff was right there, and I never even thought about it. Uh, but we've actually had a mission team that had a person that was considering coming uh, that wanted to know where the closest hospital was. And when I told them uh, 84 miles away, they decided they didn't want to come. Uh, and that's a reality. If you have health issues here that uh, demand uh, quick doctor's visits or lots of doctor's visits, uh, being a place like Jordan's probably not the place for you because uh, it's a long ways. The reality is here, if I have a massive heart attack and... Uh, more than likely, I'm not going to make it. That's just uh, the reality of being this far away. Um, we have had people that have had massive heart attacks and made it. just depends on if the weather's clear and they get the airplane. Um, but that's that's one of those things. Uh, also, if you have uh, kids with special needs, um, they may not have the resources here to meet the needs for your child. Um, and I think that's true in a lot of places, uh, different places that uh, that you can find around the country. And that just makes it hard to survive there. Uh, even though you may have a heart to minister there, it's hard to survive in those places. Uh, and then finally, the last thing that I want to mention today, uh, just in these um, five things that I think make certain places harder to serve in, uh, is the economy. Um, I've said this a couple times, and I hate to harp on it, um, but... Uh, but it, pastors also have to pay bills. Um, when when uh, I when I have a bill that comes, they want money. Uh, <laughs> that's just the reality of it. Um, and so the economy of that area may make it difficult for other people to move in. Um, some places they just don't have more uh, opportunities for jobs. Uh, some places. Um, are just depressed uh, economically and they, there's just not a lot of money there. Uh, whatever the reason is, uh, it may be hard to uh, to stay there if you're going to depend on that place to provide your income. Uh, I'm a big proponent of partnerships and trying to find other places that will help supplement so that you can minister in that area. Um, but it is hard, uh, and that's hard for the pride of a pastor. That's hard for uh, the pride of the people that are receiving that help. Um, and it's just a, a reality of life. Uh, when our church was looking at buying the parsonage here, 
uh, another pastor who had found difficulty in places like that realized that, I mean, you serve in a place like this for 20, 30 years and live in the parsonage. When you leave, you have absolutely no equity. And if you've not been saving up, um, that can put you in a hard place when you go to move. Um, he was wise in, in, in uh, warning us about that. Uh, and so, you know, that's just a reality. So those are five things that I think make it difficult to serve in some places. Uh, every place has their difficulties. Uh, sometimes those, those difficulties have names like people. Sometimes there's other difficulties. Um, but these are the ones that I see in more rural areas. Well, meetings are done. Oh, they must be doing pack test training for the new firefighters. They've got to, they'll go drop them off a mile out of town or something like that, and they got to walk back. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty well meeting doubt for today, although I think uh, we accomplished a lot, and uh, I'm pretty encouraged about the way things went. I do have one more meeting that I could attend for the ambulance crew, and just kind of depends on how I feel when I get home. Uh, I may run back out and go to that one. I may not. Either way, I'll see you guys tomorrow.